All right, hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'm gonna go over the basics of moving average and weighted moving average. Um, so to start off here, we have a three period moving average. And one of the points I wanna emphasize is you always work from your uh, furthest out to your most recent data points here. So um, we are, for all of these, going to be forecasting November sales. Um, we, we've sold 10 units a month, 10 units in January, 13, 13, 12, you know, down into 17 in October here. So three period moving average, we're going to use the three most recent periods to forecast this period. So this is, is fairly simple. We're just going to take the average of those three. So the correct answer, if asked the three period moving average for this data set uh, forecast for November would be 16. All right, for the next one, uh, four period moving average is really no different other than we have four periods. So now we have our four periods equals the average of these four. All right, and then getting into the weighted moving average, I'm going to insert another column here. Uh, so we need to use our weights of 5, 3, 2. And I'm going to convert those to 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0.2. And all I'm doing is taking equals the weight times the month. I can auto fill this down. Weight times month. Weight times month. And I sum these. Now you can, you always want to double check. You can see that 15 is kind of in the middle of those three. And we could check that. We could check the average just to see. So fairly close to that. Um, a weighted moving average gives a little more weight to the most recent periods because we think the market conditions are similar uh, in the more recent periods than they are in some of the older data. Uh, so there's that one. On this next one here, I will show you um, on 721, so a little different weight, 532721. Again, this one is giving more weight yet to the more recent periods. Instead of instead of putting moving the decimal point, I'll just leave that in there. Equals one times twenty. Again, I can auto fill down, or I can do this times this. Either one works. And I sum these. So what I have to do here, because I, I did not move the decimal point on these, is take this divided by 10. And again, 16.1 is going to be pretty close to the average. I can see the average is 16 down there. All right. And for this one, um, for our last one here, move this over a little bit. I have four weights, four, three, two, one. These still total 10, uh, so we can... Use point, point 0.4, point 0.3, point 0.2, and point 0.1. Again, equals this times this. Grab our autofill handle, drag that down, take the sum of that, and the 4321 weighted moving average is 15.1. So the only real difference here in the way we handle this is we have four weights, so we need to use the four most recent periods. So that is. Uh, the uh, intro to um, moving and weighted moving average. Let me know if you have any questions.